This is you who making stuff and this time I will be showing how I did this whiskey glass holder using wood and concrete. Alright, so I started things with uh, modeling mold for the concrete. I used Blender to model it and uh, a 3D printer to print it out. Next I mixed the concrete. Uh, I'm using, um, I guess it was Weber's uh, like uh, pre-mixed uh, uh, ready to use just add, add water type of concrete. So I just like uh, followed these instructions and uh, used the water. So the uh, sand and uh, uh, the other stuff was already mixed there. So that was pretty easy. The texture is right when it's like a feels like a porridge or like a sticky chocolate pudding. Next I poured the concrete into the mold and tried to get all the air bubbles out. I, there was a couple of them left in there but um, it was fine. But the more you shake it and uh, stir, the less there should be air pockets left there. And uh, mine my mold was pretty easy so there wasn't any uh, hard hard um, shapes to get the concrete into so here I'm just using um, like a ruler to even the bottom out and then I'm just um, going to put a plexiglass over it to get it smooth and uh, not to dry too fast. Then um, the hard part was to remove the the mold. Um, I'm using PLA uh, with the printer, so it can be pretty pretty strong stuff. Um, I guess that I I would have troubles. In this part getting the mold out and uh, uh, I wasn't planning to reuse the mold so I'm, I'm just going to destroy it. Uh, the sides come off pretty easily but um, the middle part was pretty tr tricky so I had to kind of melt it out but that turned out to be quite successful and easy. Uh, and there was no damage to the uh, concrete. Here I'm sealing the concrete with a concrete sealer. Um, it gives a nice finish and seal to the concrete. I used a uh, couple of coats of this stuff uh, that was recommended on the side of the bottle. And here is the wood part. As I did this, the mold in 3D, so I got uh, super accurate measures from there. So it was just easy marking those out on the wood. I'm using um, oak. Uh, it's kind of uh, sort of a oak board. That's that's. Uh, I guess it was like a a centimeter thick so I'm just using uh, rulers and uh, uh, stuff to get the lines in next I started drilling holes for the glasses pre-drilled uh, a hole there and uh, got this new kind of 
um, bigger drill bit that's uh, for cutting holes. Uh, mine was uh, I needed a uh, 40, 46 millimeter thick hole, so I got this freely adjustable uh, drill bit to get the to cut the hole, and uh, there I'm using a sanding sanding bit to, uh, to even out the, or smooth the drill hole. And next just um, uh, cutting out the extra wood. And when everything was cut and drilled, it was time to sand it down. Uh, it did. This wood had some kind of semi-glossy uh, surface, so I sanded it out, and uh, all the my markings uh, didn't have to do that much cleanup after the uh, drilling or or sawing, but smoothing things out with a uh, th those kind of uh, pads. Next, I stained the oak. Uh, I guess it was the color was something like an old oak stain. Just wanted it to be darker and a nice looking. Um, if I remember correctly, I did a couple of layers of this stuff. It really brings out the grain in the wood and uh, makes it look pretty nice. Then just wipe the excess stuff and let it dry. Then after the uh, stain was stain was um, dried, uh, I added um, some finishing oil. Not sure if this was uh, necessary for the wood, but. Um, I did a test piece and uh, I, I think it kind of made the bit look even more more better so it kind of deepened the color so here I'm putting a, like a felt pads at the bottom just to protect the surfaces that the tray is going to be on And then it's just a matter of uh, assembly, uh, not much assembly this one. I'm mixing two part epoxy uh, to glue, glue the wood on the concrete. It was quite snug fit so I guess it would almost not require the glue but anyways I'll put it there. So that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm I'm super happy with the with the result. Here's a couple of photos. Um, it was easy to build, uh, and uh, the result is great. And uh, the whiskey tastes tastes even better with this one. Cheers. <laughs>